Are things too expensive for you even when they're on sale? Do you look through your local art supplies and struggle to afford any of these? Well, I've got a solution for you. Have a closer look at your local supermarket. Now this is a shot of the stationery supplies at Woolworths. And I noticed they have their own little branded products that are art supplies. So I grabbed a bunch and we're going to be testing them out today. So let's start with this really pretty candle. Um, it's one of those like Glade room candles and it's called Angel Whispers and it was a really pretty floral scent. So I grabbed that one and I always seem to buy a candle every now and again. Um, and let's get started. So firstly, I grabbed this pair of scissors because I always need a good pair of scissors and these were on sale. I think they're around about three or four dollars. It's a good price. So let's get them out of their packet and have a bit of a look. They're kind of like standard scissors, so I won't spend too much time on them, but it's nice to have a good handy pair of scissors, especially for opening packaging like this stuff. And these are the colored pencils. Now the colored pencils were, let me just double check my price. They're a pack of 36 for $4. So let's get this pack open and we'll have a bit of a test and try and see what they're like. So first straight off the bat, they're round pencils. They're also kind of that kind of bright pastel -y color that you get with sort of cheaper pencils. They do layer over each other. They've got a little bit of waxiness to them, but that's kind of to be expected when you get very, very cheap pencils. But they remind me a lot of the Crayola kind of pencils, maybe just not as smooth, but the colors are really interesting. They've got a bunch of oranges and reds, but not very many um, sort of greens, which is a little bit strange. And the other thing is there's no writing at all on the pencils, no color, no number, no nothing. And they're also a little bit strangely not the same as the outside. So some of the pencils, it's really, really difficult to tell um, whether the pencil, like what color the pencil will be from the outside of it because it's so dark. Like there's a very dark red, a dark blue and a dark green. And the other thing I want to mention is I got 37 pencils in a pack of 36, which was a little bit weird, but I won't fault them for that. One extra pencil, that's kind of nice. So let's pop those back in their pack. They're actually quite nice pencils and a good little set if you're looking for something when you're traveling or just something for school so that you're not too worried about the quality. You just need a set of pencils to use. Let's have a look at this little mini canvas set. Now this set was $2.80 and you get two canvases in there. So I'm going to be painting the fishy sort of patterned one today. And then if you'd like to see the whale one, I've actually popped that video on Amino and I'll pop a link to that in the description. If you'd like to join me on Amino, you can, and you can see that painting of the whale there. So these are tiny little acrylic paints and they're actually really easy to use. The included brush wasn't a crappy plastic brush. It was a kind of nice sort of synthetic brush, just very, very small, perfect for this kind of detail. But I grabbed a couple of really tiny detail brushes as well, just in case I needed them and just went to town painting this fish. It was very, very relaxing. So that's a, the plastic sort of bent brush is actually for nail art. And um, the other brush that I've got there is just a regular kind of watercolor brush. But I wanted to try and do as much as possible if I could with the, um, the included brush. It was a little bit difficult getting in the little tiny areas. So I moved on to this little detail brush. And if you're ever looking for good, tiny detail brushes, look for nail art brushes. That's where I found these plastic ones. They're perfect for this kind of very, very tiny detail. And I got a pack of three for under a couple of dollars like it off of like Wish or AliExpress, somewhere like that. So definitely keep an eye out for that if you're looking for tiny, tiny detail brushes. But I had a lot of fun with this one. It was very sort of patterned and um, sort of cheerful. And I tried to use the brighter colors to do the fish because I knew I was going to be doing the background in blue as it's sort of the sea, the ocean, and sort of see how it came out. But I did enjoy painting this one here. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit more just so we can get through to the end of this painting. So you'll see my hand blitzing as the speed of light, just finishing off this one. And I'm trying to use all the colors. So I use some black and some of the green just to give it a bit more sort of detail here and there. I really like these paints. They're just sort of simple acrylic paints. Um, nothing special there, but 
very bright, very easy to use, nice and smooth, easy to paint with. I totally recommend this set. And for $2.80, you get two little sort of art pieces that you can do. And they're on canvas board, so really, really nice. And I'm just finishing up the blue of the ocean around the back of the little fish shape. And I think he turned out really, really pretty. I actually think this would be a, a really good project for like a rainy day, like it is today where I am, uh, or, um, you know, like a school holidays project or something like that. And it comes with this little included stand. Um, really, really handy. If you, Again, if you'd really like to see the little whale one, you can definitely see that one on Amino. I'll link that in the description as well. But good little set, $2.80. Simple, simple, and it was at Woolworths. Next, I'm going to be looking at these brush markers. Now, I found these at Big W. They were $4 for the packet. It got really, really strange colors, and they totally look like they're for bullet journaling. They're not sort of your normal colors you would use for art. They are not water safe, so if you do paint water near them, they do run a little bit, but they kind of go watercolory, which is kind of nice. They don't go through the page. They don't go through any sort of paper. I'm using um, like printer paper and sort of this sketchbook paper and it didn't go through. And they just turn out really pretty. They blend a little bit together. Sort of simple water-based brush markers if that's what you're looking for. And for $4, bargain, perfect. Now this here is a little watercolor set of 24 colors. And that watercolor set was, let me check my list. Again, $2.80. I think it was on special. I think it's normally about $3.50 or $4, but $2.80 is pretty good. Immediate first thing I do is throw away those horrible plastic brushes because they're just terrible. And I grabbed a couple of regular synthetic watercolor brushes and just some water in a jar here. And I'm just gonna test out all of the colors. Now I started off with a smaller brush, but that was taking far too long. So I grabbed sort of a, a watercolor mop brush just so it'll be a bit quicker. And I'm just gonna try and copy the rows as they are here so you can match up the colors. The colors are pretty close to what they look like in the pan. The brush, like it was easy to brush with them. I didn't have any issues there. Um, they've got a few little like bits in them. And I think that's because they're probably sort of like cheaply milled and they're not very smooth. And also they're not very like vibrant. So you get a very sort of pastelized color just because there's not a lot of pigment in them and it can take a bit to build up the color, but you totally can if you want to. You can add more and more color and build it up and there's no issues there. The blues are really pretty though and I like those oranges. They're nice and bright. They're almost a little bit sort of fluoro kind of colored and those are all the colors. Now sort of the downsides that I have with these ones is that they're chalky. So after you've finished and you let them dry, let these dry overnight, as you can see, they're quite chalky, but you can totally do art with them. So here I'm just doing a little tiny sort of wet on wet um, artwork at the bottom, just to see sort of what I could do. And then I used um, my hairdryer to quickly dry it off just so that I could see if you could draw on top of it or if there's any issues there and just grabbed a um, black colored pencil and did a little bit of sort of drawing over the top just to give it a bit of sort of interest and make it look a bit more interesting. But yeah, you can totally use it to practice and for $2.80, it's just a bargain. Totally a bargain that you can um, do some art at home and have some fun. Next up is this pack of, uh, I think it's 36 textures or markers. In Australia, we call them textures, but you guys in America and other countries call them markers. So these are just your kind of standard markers that you would use for coloring or schoolwork or bullet journaling or any kind of thing, any kind of project or, you know, drawing any kind of stuff. And the book that I'm using, I wanted to quickly chat about that as um, I'm just finishing off this swatch. The book I'm using is by a company called Paper Click and it says Paper Click A4 Visual Diary, 120 pages. And it's this really good thick paper. Surprisingly, even pressing pretty hard with these markers didn't really go through. It seems pretty resilient to um, a little bit of watercolor and that sort of thing. But here is um, the Millie Moretta coloring book called 
called Animal Kingdom. This was only $5 at Big W. So if you've been looking for this one in particular, it's a little bit of an older book now. I think it was done a few years ago, but um, a good one to add to the collection. But yeah, here's this um, visual art diary. I'm always on the lookout for new um, visual art diaries or sketchbooks with pretty good paper. This is pretty good paper. It stands up to a bit of watercolor, as I was saying before. It stands up to pretty good sort of work and it's uh i think it's a 125 gsm which is like pretty good paper nice and thick perfect for if you're looking for a visual diary and that was only four dollars twenty which is like half the price of what i normally pay for a decent visual diary now this pack of 120 sheets of paper it was five dollars but it's printer paper that is all different colors that you can use in your printer so that's why i grabbed this one here it's sort of held together as a pad but you can just sort of tear off the pages and put them through your printer oh it's taking me a bit to get this like plastic off sort of wish they wouldn't wrap things in plastic it always feels like such a waste but um, let me get that off and I'll show you all the colors. So you can see here a bunch of bright and cheerful colors. Really, really beautiful. Be really good. So that's the um, haul of all of these ones that I've done. I'm just going to show you a little bit of footage of using those pens. And definitely if you'd like to see more, um, I will link my Amino channel down below if you'd like to see some really short form kind of videos and that sort of stuff. But I will see you guys next week and you guys have a sunshiny day. Bye.